With congenital cases on the rise, the government of Ghana has been urged to provide free health care services for children with a condition to ease the burden on parents and also save the lives of these children with a condition. According to the president of the Children's Heart Foundation Ghana, Jacqueline Ahumka Lindsay, just as education is free, treatment for children with heart-related problems must be made free as well. She spoke at a health walk to raise funds for the surgery of over 50 children at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Congenital heart defect is one of the most common types of birth defects in children. The condition presents abnormal heart rhythms, blue-tinted skin, shortness of breath, and swollen body tissue or organs, among others. Treatments for the condition may include medication to lower blood pressure and control heart rate and heart devices, while serious cases may require a heart transplant. In Ghana, however, the high cost of treatment leaves parents with children in such conditions in despair. President of the Children's Heart Foundation, Jacqueline Ahomka Lindsay, believes treatment for the condition should be subsidized. Just as we have free SHS and free um, um, children's education, healthcare is just as important, perhaps if not more important. Without health, they can't go to school. Okay, if they're not feeling well, they can't concentrate in school. First of all, is your health. First of all, is your life, and your life means your health. Then going to school. So for me. Um, free medical care for children should be number one priority. Then we take, talk about free education as well. Or they should go hand in hand at the minimum. Like I said, we have 53 kids on our list. We need over 435 US thousand US dollars. I can't even say what that is in Ghana cities. The Children's Heart Foundation Ghana is a non-governmental organization focused on raising funds to support surgery for children with the condition. The health work was aimed at raising funds for treatment for over 50 children at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital and also to raise awareness of the condition. Karen Hendrickson is the trustee in charge of public relations for the foundation. I am happy to do my part because I have seen firsthand the anguish and the pain in a parent's face when their child is sick and they know the treatment, but the money is just out of their reach. They just can't get it. It's like asking them to go to the moon and, even, and come back. And even though they know that if they could get the money, the child will be fine, but they just can't get it. Dr. Kushali Ganatra did her clinical attachment with the National Cardiothoracic Center at the Kolebo Teaching Hospital. She shares first-hand experience with children living with congenital heart conditions. So for me, it was a very difficult thing to watch because I would, I would watch Professor Yao and her team screen the babies and th the look on the parents' faces when they would tell them that they, ne they need a surgery. And imagine how the parent would feel that they can save their child's life, but the only thing standing between them and having their baby is that they cannot afford to do the surgeries. So it's, it's a very sad thing and there's, because they, the surgeries are so expensive, we don't have all the expertise in Ghana. People have flown in to do some surgeries. They have even flown some of the babies out. We just, we're so under-resourced, we need whatever we can get from people. And having been there and having seen the impact it's making on the ground, it's a whole different thing knowing that the, the money that you're giving is actually reaching the people in need. With an increasing number of children living with the condition needing surgical interventions, it is important that the necessary financing measures are put in place to bring relief to parents and families. Prince Kuduga's report for Joy News.